Well, out there to you, let's do some perfectly competitive uh, cost analysis, profit maximization type questions uh, from a sample homework set. Okay, so uh, we need to fill in all of this stuff. So suppose perfectly competitive firm face following cost condi conditions. We've got quantity supplied and we've got total cost. Uh, we need to find um, the marginal cost. The first two are just defi definitional, so I won't write the uh, formula for those. So anyway, the marginal cost is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. Then average cost, that's really referring to average total cost, but that is equal to the same thing. Uh, so that is just take the total cost and divide it by the quantity. And then the average variable cost is the variable cost divided by the quantity. Okay, and we'll go ahead and fill in the table there. Okay, so fixed costs are costs that don't change based on production. So if I don't produce anything, I'm facing $20 you know, dollars or whatever in costs. So that means that the fixed costs are actually going to be 20 Okay, so whatever costs you're paying when you have shut down in the short run, we like to say, uh, that's your fixed cost. Okay, so when you have shut down, you don't have any variable costs, so this is zero. Okay, so then what is the additional cost that you have to pay to produce that uh, unit? So that's just the five, and then the it's so you could think of it as total cost minus fixed cost is going to equal our variable cost. Okay, so that's actually twenty-eight, and that's fifty, and that's eighty. Okay. And then the marginal cost is the is the change in total cost. Now it's all, you can also use the change in variable cost since this doesn't change, you'll get the same answer. So whoops. So this is actually NA right here, NA right here, because you can't divide by zero. And with marginal cost, you can't you didn't have anything before you got here. So anyway, so the uh, change in total cost is five and then divided by the change in total in quantity supplied is one. So all of these are a change by one, so we can actually forget about this part. Whatever you're doing in this particular example, you're dividing by one, so it's really just the change in total cost. So this is five, uh, this is 11, this is 12, this is 22, and that's 30, okay? Average cost, might need a calculator for this, so, uh, no, not the first one. It's 25 over 1, so that's 25, and then 36 over 2 is 18, and then 48 over 3, I should know that, is it 12? I don't know, let's make sure, let's make sure. 28 divided by 3, 16, good thing I made sure there, I just want to make sure, oops. 16, uh, 70 4, 17.5, and then that's 25. And then average variable cost, the first one, we're just going to divide the variable cost by quantity. So this one is 8. I don't know what that one is. 28 divided by 3 is 9 and a third, or 9.33. And then uh, 4 and 50. 12 and a half. This has been watch me do calculator stuff. Haha. Uh, and then uh, 5 into 80 is blanked there, so I might as well stick with the calculator, right? Uh, I get 16. Okay, would have eventually got that. Oops, just 16. Okay, variable cost associated with the fourth unit of production is what? So now that we've got our table here, fourth unit, it's just 50. That's all it's asking. Minimum price the firm will operate in the short run. Okay, so this is referring to the shutdown rule. And the shutdown rule says you're going to shut down um, when the price in the short run 
is below average variable cost. So the shutdown price is where price equals average variable cost. So where uh, where is the minimum of average variable cost? So we'll look over here and looks like five. So five would be the uh, minimum price. In other words, the price has to hit five in order for this firm to start to produce. Okay. What minimum price uh, for the long run? Okay, so here um, they're going to, this is talking about entering or exiting the market. So they're going to enter when the price is above average total cost. And they're going to do what's called exiting when the price is below average total cost in the long run. Okay, so we're just going to look for the minimum here. The minimum is uh, at 16, and then uh, so we'd have to hit at least 16. So it'd have to be at least 16. All right, the minimum price used for question two. Okay, I don't have, I didn't do question two, so we'll just <laughs> skip that part. Uh, at the price of 22 profit maximizing level. Okay, so this is perfectly competitive. So that means that the, the price is the marginal revenue is always going to be, which is right here, it's always going to be the same as price. So it's going to be 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, and 22. Okay, so profit maximizing, whenever you see that, what that means is I'm going to produce up until the marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Okay, so um, I'm going to look at, let's do those in like blue, this column and this column. So the first one I'm going to produce, uh, the second one I'm going to produce, I'm going to keep producing as long as marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost. So I'm not going to produce that fifth unit because the marginal cost is 30 and the marginal revenue is 22. So when the price, so that's going to be a four. Okay, short run profit. Okay, so this one you're just going to take um, four times twenty-two, which is eighty-eight. Okay, so eighty-eight dollars. That's total revenue minus the total cost, which is seventy. And so that's eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars total profit when that happens. And the re if you want to check this part right here, you can calculate. To you can put in a category or a column rather for total profit and calculate it. And when the price is 22, you're gonna see you get the highest total profit when the when the quantity is four, okay? Um, you can try it, so try it with three, okay? Try try producing three and see what total, um, total profit you get. All right, if the total costs stay the same and all firms have the same cost conditions. Okay, so, so this is talking about what's called long run, oops, long run equilibrium okay and so there's no barriers to entry so firms can enter or exit and so this is going to be the case where price equals marginal cost which is also going to equal average total cost and average total cost uh, is is the minimum of average total cost is going to equal marginal cost so there's other proofs uh, on other videos that prove that, but um, you can take my word for it on this one. So uh, the price it's asking for is going to be the minimum of average total cost, so it would be right here, so it would be 16. That's going to be 16 because that's the minimum of average total cost. The marginal cost would be 16, and then the price would be 16. So everybody's breaking even and making no economic profit.